Yo guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am doing a little bit of an experiment. Now, I just want to say something, guys. I did record this intro, but for some reason, it's not coming up on my SD card, which is so annoying. So I'm doing a voiceover for this bit, guys. But we will get into the proper video in a moment once I explain what we're actually doing. So basically, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is I'm going to be doing a few experiments in my bedroom to see if I can pick up any paranormal activities, such as using a spirit box using a using dowling rods using my phone to record and we even experimented with a little candle which i was getting the most you know activity out of so guys if you are excited to see this video then stick around because i have some interesting results for you guys and i want to see what other people openly honestly think about this video and uh, this experiment just to be warned i did try to keep everything raw so i might if, if this is too long then i'm probably going to make it into two parts guys or cut a little bit away but I did try to make everything as raw as possible just to show you guys that I'm not faking this video in any sort of way so if you did enjoy this video then please can you all drop a like and please can you all hit that subscribe button guys we've got to 2,000 subscribers I cannot believe that we've actually hit 2,000 subscribers in such a short amount of time and actually the last time I checked it was at like 2,030 subscribers guys and that is unreal so the next goal is 3,000 subscribers subscribers let's get it guys i know that we can get to 3k and i promise you that the content you're about to see in the video you're about to see is worth sticking around for let's get into this okay guys i don't have all the information in front of me but i do have a little bit guys so basically a boy named arthur raymond diamond he lived in this house in around 90 between 1909 and 1914 okay he was five years old when he passed away guys he lived here with a load of sisters and brothers like they had a huge family guys if you're wondering how i know this i'll explain in a moment but i mean they had a huge huge family so at the age of five in 1914 guys this little boy diamond he decided to go out and play and he dr he fell in a canal which is down the road from me and he sadly passed away guys they didn't rescue him quick enough he was chasing a leaf or something um i've read the article off I'll, I'll explain to you all in a minute guys he lived in this house guys with his family just a normal family obviously back then it was a lot different to what we are now and what the, the house is like now obviously there was a lot more you know things going on and stuff like that guys and i'm pretty sure they're just guessing that his dad worked in the coal mines and all the docks down there guys which is really close to me again because a lot of houses around here was work was used as working houses or places for workers to live also at the t around i'm not too sure off the date on this one but there was around the same time there was also a lodger that was living here he like had the back bedroom or one of the bedrooms and rented it out from the family and he sadly died as well he died in work down down the docks guys um by falling off his horse and cart or something and the cart run over his head it's gr gruesome i know guys but just bear with me so basically in the last couple of years they had two deaths in about a year or two there was two deaths in this house guys and that was around 1914 kind of kind of area because that's when diamond or that's what we call him diamond that's when he died three years ago pretty sure it was about three years ago my neighbor next door he came to me and my mom and he said look i found some history on your house i was looking at the history on the street and i found some history on your house and we was like okay this is really cool this is really interesting before this we had no idea about anything that happened in the house there's nothing i've never in the house there's nothing i've never it's never like come to me to go and check the history on my house I've, I've never had the urge to do that guys I've never really cared about the history on my house they found the history on the house and sent me and my mum these articles off the house and news articles off when these deaths occurred so obviously there was a new that news article off when diamond died or Arthur died and there was also a news article of when the other one died I'm gonna try and find them guys so I can show you because you probably you're all watching this and you're probably thinking oh why are you lying but I'm I'm not lying guys I'm being serious I don't want to give my address out that I, I do not want to do that at all and there's also a picture I'm gonna show you this picture this picture blows my mind every time I look at it guys I don't know how well you can see that but yeah that that's the family that used to live in this house guys and as I said they had a lot of kids that was just their kids they had a lot of kids but unfortunately this one died at the age of five so uh, that's a little bit of a backstory on what is going on in my house. So after finding that out, guys, we put two, 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 two and two together, and we was like, boom, this boy, this, 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 
this activity that we're getting is obviously, well, not obviously, but it could be from this little boy. Things were going missing, guys. Like car keys, you'd put a pair of car keys down and then two minutes later you'd go and look for them and they'd be gone. And like, you'd search the whole entire house and then you'd be like, okay, where are they? Give them back. And then they just appear back to where you put them. It, it's great, guys. You, unless you experience it, you really, really don't understand. Like, it's, it makes you feel like you're going crazy. And I know that I sound crazy right now, but I'm, I'm being serious, guys. I'm being serious. Like, I'm, a lot of people are probably thinking to me right now, why are you talking a load of crap? But I'm not. I'm not. I'm being serious. It's like, okay, we have one little boy who is age five. And then we have one guy, I'm pretty sure his name was Walter. It was either Walter or William. Like two days ago, I was downstairs and my mum will even vouch for me and everything I say, guys. So will, my, so will everyone who has been in this house and spent the night in this house. You will vouch for me for what I'm about to say, guys. About two, two days ago, I was downstairs making something to eat in the night and I turned around, I heard a noise and I thought, okay, it's just a dog. I ignored the noise, turned around, put something in my fridge and then as I put something in the fridge, I felt something run. Here's my leg, okay guys? I literally felt something go like that across my leg. And I was I was like, oh my, what the hell's going on? So I went upstairs, ignored it, ignored it, ignored it. About a day later, so yesterday, I was sitting downstairs with my mom speaking. It was about two o'clock in the afternoon. And that's all we heard was this big massive bang. And we couldn't explain where it came from. It came from the kitchen, but there was nothing going on in the kitchen. It, it's weird. I woke up about two weeks ago in the middle of the night and that's all I heard was banging on the door and I thought okay someone's knocking the front door I go downstairs there's no one there I look at the window there's no one there it doesn't even when you actually wake up and you start listening to the noise it doesn't sound like the door it sounds like some sort of it sounds like a vibration it's weird we sound crazy I'm gonna go and book myself into a mental asylum it's okay once this video is up, you'll never hear of me again because I'll be in a mental asylum. Like, I know I sound crazy right now. Yeah, let's, let's just stop babbling on, guys. I've told you the history. I've told you why I'm sitting here doing this. So let's do it. I have everything ready, guys. I have all this ready. I have my phone ready to voice pick up or pick up voices. I have that camera over there ready, guys. It's looking at the whole entire room. Okay, is there anyone here? in my room with me please come forward use my energies use the energies around me use my camera my light my laptop energy my phone energy i'll use the energy of this radio and use my energy that i'm giving off to come forward and have a little chat Anyone there with me? I feel like I'm getting something. If there's anything around me right now, please use my energies and use any energies that you can pick up to come through and have a little chat with me. Is there anyone here who would like to have a little chat with me? I am friendly, I am not going to hurt you, I am not going to judge you. I just want to chill and just have a little chat and see what we can get out of you and see if we can get any information about you or who you might be. Well, that was, that was a powerful one. It's not that loud, that's the only thing. Ooh, that was weird, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Is that you? 
Can you make can you do something can you make something more clearer for me? Can you do that noise again for me or can you say something for me? I feel like I should pick this up and bring it closer to it. Closer. Is that you? Will you do that again for me? I'm not going to concentrate on the actual candle guys, but I'm going to see if we can get any flickers out of it. Was it you that made that noise in the kitchen yesterday? That was a weird one. Was that a yes? Can you just repeat if that was a yes or not? Whoa, what is my candle doing? Guys, I have no idea whether this phone, whether this camera just picked that up. But the camera was literally just like vibrating or something. Yeah, it goes, it's going again. Look, watch. Watch this, guys. Let me turn this off. It's like a weird vibrating kind of thing. That is so weird. Please tell me you're seeing this, guys. What the hell is going on? It's as if it's like going up and down. Is that you who's playing with my candle right there? Okay, was it you that made the noise in the kitchen? Because I know it was one of you. One of you made that noise in that kitchen. Which one was it? Was it any of you? Was it the person who I'm speaking to now? Did you make that noise in the kitchen? Can you say that again? I didn't quite pick it up. I swear to God, I just said my name. Yo guys, so I'm gonna end it right here and the only reason why I'm ending it right here is because I've realised that this video so far is nearly coming up to about 15 minutes and I don't want it to be too long, I want to keep you guys interested. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna end this video right here um, with the recordings that I've got and then I'm gonna put up a part two where as you can see right now I mess with the dowel rods and then we also experiment with the camera, as, um, the candle as well, see if we get anything. Um, I will say now that I did get one or two things out of the candles, so that would be in part two, guys. Uh, the dowel rods were a bit of a touch and go kind of subject, but the rest of it, guys, then I, I don't know what do I think. Guys, what do you think of this video? Did you see anything? Did you hear anything that I missed? Did you guys pick anything up on the... Um, 
on the spirit box that I was using guys did anyone else experience anything in this video that I missed guys please let me know in the comment section below because I'm very interested um, I'd also like to say guys thank you very much for sticking around and watching till the end of this video and as I say guys in the beginning of this video we've hit 2k how about we hit 3k guys I cannot believe how fast we are hitting these goals guys you're all amazing I love every single one of you guys you're all beautiful it's been your girl and I'm out of here Peace. Bye.